Hey everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Okay, today's going to be a bit of a crazy video. I'm challenging myself and also you guys to um, grab a pile of stuff or a drawer or a box or something that you haven't played in in a long time. We're just going to make things from that box. So I grabbed one, one, one of my bead drawers and these are those little tiny, you know, um, check beads or super small hole. I mean, try getting a needle through that. We'll be here for a hundred years, but I thought it might be kind of fun to just play with these tiny beads to see what else we can do with them. And one thing I've done before, I'm going to show you some new things today, but this is just a quickie uh, blast from the past. Okay. I'll just, I'll take this. Oh, I can actually show you an example. I have one floating in here. Um, I just took a button. I was just playing with a button and I just put a cluster of beads on top of the button and then put some thread around it. I don't know, just random play. So this is a random play day. Um, that's kind of cool, random play day. So I've got a couple uh, buttons that I'm finding here, different buttons that have depressions in them where I could load. Oh boy, there's going to be stuff everywhere today, I can tell. Um, load some glue. Let's go grab some glue. This is just good old, you know, Fabrifix glue. Clear silicone glue. I sound like a commercial. Fabric, 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 paper, paper, paper. Now there is a little opening there. Now, if I was wiser than the average bear, I would take anything, like anything. Whoop, drop the button. Now, you think I can find a piece of paper right now? No, no, not at all. Look on the ground, Pam. There's got to be something. What's that? Piece of lint? We'll take it. I just need something to cover that hole. I could, I could cover it from the back too, couldn't I? That might be a better idea. All right. Well, glue would help. Let's put some glue down. I just don't want the beads to fall through once I load them in there. Because that would be sort of silly. Not that anything like that would happen around here. No, no. Okay. Okay, I, I can put the other beads down. All right. Loading the glue. Having high hopes... Realizing I can't see squat because I don't have my super duper El Cheapo readers on. Yeah, here we go. Putting those babies on. Oh, yeah. These are the ones Sunny ran away with. Um, okay, now I do have some different tweezers I thought I might play with. These are just some different ones. I've got like a flat paddle like one, a pointy one. And then I've got this one. It's a beading tweezer where you can scoop up a pile of beads or precision pick up something. So let's try scooping. I am now actively scooping. Oh boy. Now this is how you get everything all mixed together. You know, that's the way it goes sometimes. I probably should do this not over this because that commingles beads. You ever try to keep your beads straight from each other? Oh my God. I, I, I'm sure there's like little, you know, bottles and packages and there's like super ways to organize your beads. But you got to kind of mush it down good because if the glue doesn't get it, these beads are coming off. Okay, let's see. It's okay. So these are the beads that actually stuck. Well, I can move them around a bit. That's good. Okay. I don't know if you saw any of that. That's what we got. That's kind of cool though, right? Okay, so um, let's just put that aside as a, as a, it looks like a, I don't know, like something I would eat. <laughs> it looks like a candy or something. Okay, here's another one. Oh, I've got those holes in the bottom again. Where's the piece of paper? Come on. This is the paper outpost. Let me, let me, there's got to be something around here. It's ridiculous. Who, who cleaned this place up when I wasn't looking? Here we go. Here's something. I, got, I, I found a piece of paper. Can you believe it? Okay, let's just take that off. We'll handle the whole situation right now. This is not going to get in our way. We're just going to carry on. I don't want to need all that. It's probably too much. Okay. Oh, I got my, yep. Got it on myself already. That didn't take long. Okay, so now let's load the center with some glue. You want to be pretty generous with the glue because you really want the um, little beetaroonies to stick in there. Now I could do white again. That looked really nice. But maybe I could do another color like, oh, I could do that pink. How about that's very exciting over here. Okay. That should contrast well. Okay, maybe we'll go this way. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Can you hear the beads falling? I know, I know, right? Disaster pants. Okay, this is not the best way to do this, but it's, it is one way. Okay, you know, I've had these beads for so long. I wanted to do something with them. Actually, I, I have wanted to do something with them, but I just opened the drawer and said, okay, we're going to use whatever's in this drawer. Yeah, so if you've got beads, we're going to make some fun things with beads. All right. Oh, oh if, you're, if you're hanging off the side, you must leave the premises. Oh, don't have my glasses on. Well, that would make it a lot easier. Okay. There. One straggler. Okay, everybody else is where it should be. Just going to give the old press down. The old super press. Okay. There. So we have that. We have that. So they, they come together pretty quickly. But I think they're kind of cute, right? You could put these down a spine. You could put them on a cover. You could use them somehow as a an opener or like a little thing you could sash around. I don't know how you, you do that, but you could do that. I'm sure you could. Okay. Um, do I have another one? Let's do one like this. This is like a regular button, just like a clear plastic button. We ne definitely need to put something on the back of that. Okay, here's that paper. One more time. And back. This isn't even what I was going to show you. What was I going to show you? Did I forget? No. That couldn't possibly have happened. All right. Oh, I, I know what I was going to show you. Did I? Huh, not sure. Okay, now I have a new idea, though. It'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Um, this is definitely just creating on the fly. Oh, you know, maybe here's another technique. Instead of, like, pouring the beads on there, how about I just dip it in the beads? Yeah, let's try that. Maybe that's a much better approach. Oh, I'm feeling good about this. I think this is the way to go. Yeah, this could be it. None of that other stuff. Then you don't commingle beads. Everybody stays in their place. Okay, you might get a few auxiliary members of the family here, but you can just kind of get rid of them as you're going. And then you make all the family members sit down at the table together. Whether they like each other or not, they have to sit there together. That's kind of pretty, right? Is that, can you see that? Is it too close? I can't see anything. i got my glasses on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it looks cute. So we have three of those. Okay. So now, I know what I was going to do. It all has come back to me now. Yes, the brain has fired. Thank goodness. Okay, so I have this. I don't know if you remember this really pretty bed sheet I had. I loved that bed sheet. It was like an old vintage bed sheet. But I'm going to take that off because I don't want to cover up the rosies. But I would just want a piece of bed sheet straight away. I'm just going to grab a fabric scissor here. Let me back up a little bit so you can see a little better. I'm just going to up some of these things. Okay. Just going to start a little thing there. And so I can have a strip of fabric. Okay. I got something. Um, let me just make it about, maybe I would say it's probably going to be half an inch wide, something like that. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right, so I have a nice strip of very soft muslin. And what I thought I would do is create flowers. Now, I don't know if this is going to work, but we're in the, the experimentation phase of life. Let me move you over here. Put you down here. Let me, let me move you over here. And what I want to do is I want to create flowers on here with the glue. Okay, you definitely need to come closer. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm going to put, okay, okay, it's not working very well. That's all right. I'm just going to put a blob down. Yeah. Let's go for a general blob at first because I'm not very um, dexterous in that regard to, like, not that dexterous is this girl. Okay, I'm going to use bigger ones. These are like, I don't know, I don't know. They're just like mid mid size or something. Okay. Oh, I have two. I got a two for one special. I'm going to try and form... What looks like a flower? You need to sit down like you're on your side. What are you doing on your side? Go that way. Okay, we're going to cut. We're going to go around the flower. 
This one is going to be, there's no glue on this side. There's nothing. I can see there's absolutely nothing over here. Okay, there we go. Now let's put down some more of these. See how that goes. This is a little precision work here. Okay, coming in here. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to go around. Oh, these glasses are so dirty. Why? Why can't I wipe them off before I start? Because you have little greasy fingers, and that's why they're. That's why you you had a snack. I know, but you know, a girl's got to eat. <laughs> At some point, she's got to eat, and it's got to happen. And it happened. Okay, I'm I'm admitting to it. It happened. Not that there's anything. There's nothing wrong with eating. Eating is a normal human function. We have to eat in order to survive. It's an enjoyable process, and I eat. Okay, there. I have, I have now managed to create one flower. Now I'm going, to, I'm going to try and make a little line of these down the road here. Okay, just put a little more glue. Make the glue blob a little bigger. Okay, that feels a little bigger. Now, should they all match? No, I think I'm going to go for a different look. Oh, okay, here are some different ones. Okay, this time I'm going to put a white one in the center. Okay, there you go, white one. And then I've got some of these, what are these? These are like multicolored. Here's a, oh, I got a two for one. I'll just put you down. Okay, get down there. I know, I see you on your side. Yep, that one right there. Boy, this, this is what we call painstaking fun. Yeah, this is like one of those tortuous things that you got back in the 60s where you could like put a hundred million little tiny pieces of something to make a picture. I don't know. There's a lot of things like that. It's like rug hooking. You know what I mean? Do you remember rug hooking? Yeah. We all remember rug hooking. And then you were, then at the end, you had a rug. You had like a wall hanging rug that you proudly displayed on your groovy wallpaper, <laughs> which was so hideous, but so cool at the same time. I know. I know. I had it too. These are multicolors. Okay. All right, here we go. Do we need a blue one? Do we need a purple one? Uh, this one. There we go. All right. Just let that, that all rest into place. Two done. Wow. They're pretty though, aren't they? And it definitely uses them up. All right, so we'll sit here for a thousand years and do this. No, oh, no, we're not going to do that. We'll do a few more and then we'll do something else with the beads. So this is just random ideas on, you could use this as a page trim. You could use it as a cover decoration. You could also make a bunch of these and just run the whole thing down a spine. That would be really pretty. Um, okay, let me get you lined up here. Did I put the glue down? Yes. Okay, so let's go for a different style. All right. Some green ones over here. Hmm. I should just put. This is like a big flat back pearl thing. Let's just put that down. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty on the on the cotton. That looks actually very nice. All right. Well, we'll call that one done. Move along. Because I could cut these up and use them separately at a later time. So this is. I guess I'm mass making this bead strip. These are also different. I don't know if I'd use them on the same journal, but I mean, on the, like on the spine altogether, but I might. How about those bugle beads? You know these things? Yeah. Let's see what you do with these things. Everybody's got a pack of these things sitting around. Well, this could be, this could be crazy town. But let's just try. Okay. I'm going to make a little sun or something. Should probably put the focal point in first. Um, let's use this little funny looking thing. Hmm. Right there. Some kind of, it looks like a pearl bead or something. Put you in the center. There you go. So now I can radiate around you. So this is how you can use your beads without sewing them on because you have to have such a fine needle and really, really good eyesight. See here you just need a pair of glasses and some tweezers. And you're, and you're rolling. That other stuff, sewing these things, man, that's a whole other world. 
for people with a lot of patience and better eyesight than I have. Okay, get down there. Well, that's looking kind of cool. It's looking a little sunnish. I like it. I'm in a very delicate mood today, just doing delicate things. Oops. Oh. oh. Okay, now. Okay, this is... Oh, jeez. Now. Hey. <laughs> Can you see? Nope, I'm off the screen. Hang on. Oh, go over. Come on. It's like pushing a wet noodle. Come here. There we go. Okay. Maybe one more. I got this one on the ground. Okay, there we go. Maybe one there. All right. I do like that one a lot. I think it's really pretty. Gold accents, you could do all day long. Let's see what else we can do with a gold accent. Okay, with these bugle beads. My, my bead from, from, they're like my demon beads. You know what I mean? It's like they're, they're my nemesis. So we're going to find, we're going to like maybe, just maybe draw a line with you guys. Maybe I don't know. Like stack them, maybe stagger them like bricks. I don't know. Let's see. If I just pick up one, it'd be a lot easier. Okay. Look at that one. Glue on all my fingers and the beads. Oh, oh, oh boy. How about a random pattern? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> right about now, that sounds really good. Okay, get on there. All right, you can, you can stay there. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Here, how about we put a clump of you down and just see what sticks. Let's try that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, something random like that. And it still looks pretty, right? I think I can put maybe another one or two in there. One up there. There, loosey-goosey. So you have to come over here. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, there's like a little random pattern. We can do that when you get frustrated and, and tired. And what else do we have here? Um, oh, okay, let's try this. I don't know if this is going to work, but let's try. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do like an S of glue. Okay. Now I'm going to pour some beads on it. I'm going to get the scooper. Oh, you're really close. Back up a little bit. I'm going to get the scooper, and I'm going to go in for some, some green little seed beads here. And I'm just going to pour it on. I should have put paper down under here so it would be easier to pick up the beads. But no, no, did I think of that? No, you think of it, though, so you don't have to do the bead chase. Okay, let's get these on there. Cover, cover, cover. Tap, 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 tap. Now, let's pick this up. Oh, Lordy me. Oh, yeah, a couple beads went on the floor. Let me see if I get an S. Oh, I think I got an S. Okay, there are beads everywhere. I would just like to say beads went everywhere with that, so I would definitely get a white piece of paper and put it under what you're working on. So you just do not pull that maneuver like I did. But I still got my S. Do you, do you see that? That's really cool. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking you could even write letters and... You can write letters. You could write letters, like names, people's names or something like that. All right. I'm going to put my extra beads over there. Okay, that didn't work too bad. I have to admit, that was better than I thought it was going to be. And we have an S. And you can go back in and... Oh, bugle bead. Of course, bugle bead. Um, you know, fix the S if it's a little odd in certain areas. Just make it more S-like. And then do the push-down maneuver. To anchor. Whoop, no, nope, back you go. Okay. Oh, you're a loose one. We'll take you out. It's like a loose cannon. All right. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we got an S. Um, yeah, I didn't think that was going to work, but it did. That's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Okay, we're going to do one more on this strip. This is going to be another random pour over design. It's going to be kind of akin to this one. 
that's random, but it's going to be a mix of stuff. And I'm going to show you, this is like the, well, the mix of stuff bucket. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to see how that all pans out. So I'm just going to put a whole bunch of glue down, like a big rectangle of it. Okay. I guess you could do this on paper too. It wouldn't, doesn't have to be a material, but I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do on the material. Now I'm going to just smoosh it out with finger tool. Probably a good idea to wipe off finger at this point. And then I'm going to get some of those random mixed up beads. Oh, okay. And I'm just going to, I'm going to pour them down on there. And we're looking good. We are on the white paper. Oh, that should be enough. Okay. I feel like it is enough. Okay, pushing, pushing down. There's a big bead in there. It's maybe too big. Too big. You need to play with the others. You have to, you're, you're in the wrong playground. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, some of these are going to come off. Okay, so let's just pick it up and deal with it. All right, that wasn't so bad because they're all contained on the paper. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Look at that. Oh, I just took some off. I'm going to slap those babies back on there. It's still gluey. Come on, get on there. Okay. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? I don't know. I kind of like that. I wonder how well it'll hold. I'm going to give it the extra finger smoosh. This is like a serious finger smoosh here. All right. We're going to let you dry. That's cool. Eh? Yeah. I like that. Okay. So I'm going to take this and my, my dexterity. I'm going to pour that back into whence it came. Yeah, there's always a few that go somewhere else. You know, there's only so much a girl can do. Okay, so now we have, we have all these. Look at us go. That's pretty cool, huh? And I would say there probably is room for one more. What should we do? Let's see. Okay, I have a bunch of these red beads. And I could make another flower. But maybe I'll do a different flower. Maybe I'll do like a, a flower head here. But then I'll do a stem. Okay, maybe in green. How about that? Okay. Should we do it the fast way or the slow way? Or should these be placed? Maybe these should be placed because they are bigger. These are bigger. I don't know what size. They're just bigger. Okay, center. Okay. And we can squish it all down after. Oh, just, just drop where I put you. Don't, don't fuss on me. Take them and put them there. Yeah, maybe that's better. Okay, down, down. These bigger ones are a little easier to handle. Try not to get your fingers in the glue. Your life will be much easier. Okay, that's cute. Can you see? Kind of. It's a little far away. There. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the guy we're working on. Over here. No, not over there. There we go. And with one more little squash bug in there, you can fit. Okay. Putting the extras away. Lost one. Lost two. Lost three. It's okay. These are bigger. I can catch them. And now, I need some green. Oh, how about these? These little bugly green things. Yeah, they, they'll work. Okay, maybe I, I will. Will I will? Will I will use these? I will use these. These are short bugle beads just for your entertainment. Oh, stay down. Uh, I can still say this is way better than sewing. There's probably an easier way to get them all on a string somehow, but you know, sometimes you just want to do things a different way. Yeah. And I think if I have enough glue down, they should stay put. These would look cute as little accents on a page. Oh, they would look so cute. Do I have glue there? Is there glue there? Or am I imagining it at this point? I better put some, so I'm not imagining. Okay. Yeah. All right. Get up there. Get up there. Okay. A little shorty pants down here. There you go. Oh, maybe we should do a couple leaves coming off just so it looks cute, huh? Okay. All right. Some leafage. Well, we've got these out. We might as well play with them, right? Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, get down, get up. Oh. You almost need two of these. One to, I think it's, they're gluey. That's the problem. That's probably the whole problem. Okay, back in the trenches. Okay, now we got one, two. Oh, we're going better now. That does help. Make sure your, your uh, little thingies are, are clean of glue. There. Let's push them together a little bit. There. Huh? Oh, not bad, huh? No. It, it went better than I thought. Um, there we go. So we have that. So let's just take a slow peek at everything we made. There's a bugle bead. Oh, over you go. Oh, there's one on here. Okay. This is what we made. Da, 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 da. Oh, no, can't hum on YouTube. Stop that. Okay, backing up a little bit so we can see what we made. Actually, I think I will just move these because... This will be just fine. Oh, that's so cool, actually. It really is. Okay. Now I should put it this way so you can see it. Always working with the horizontal. Horizontal is wider. All right, so now we have our completed buttons for viewing your viewing pleasure as well. And I'm thinking for some reason this one needs another glue blob in the center. And I feel like I just want to place a few more. Whoa! A few more of a different color. Oh, get that. Oh boy. I almost knocked over all the. Oh, they all co-mingled. Oh well. Too bad. Um, what color? What color would be good? How about. Oh, we've got some gold ones. That might look cool in the center there. Let me try that. Don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try it. Whoa. All right, let's just see which ones stick where the glue is. All the others should fall off according to my master plan. Not bad. Not bad at all. So it can be done. There, I just wanted to show you it can be done. If you have patience... You have will and grit and all that stuff, and you want to hang out for seven years with your little Czechoslovakian beads. You too can have hours of fun, and you're going to use up your supplies before you know it. Maybe that's my goal. You know, my crafting goal in life is to use up all my supplies. That would be something. That's never going to happen. But um, that would be kind of cool. Okay, so there you go. That was today's uh, fun. Oh, don't forget I have... I... What do I have? I have... Whoop. Back it up, Sally. Oh, back up. I have fabric packets. 40 plus pieces, plus a triple bonus, an old letter, handwritten, a piece of vintage advertising from a newspaper, and some vintage stamps. Triple bonus if you purchase the fabric pack which is available right now. There is a limited supply. If you're interested in those, make sure you get one. And where is Mr. Fluffer Pants? Hello, Pants of Fluff. Oh, you're, by the, you're on the couch hiding in the white pillows. Here I come, bounding across the, it's not time for tummy rub, no. He's like rolling, like offering tummy. You, you need a bath. You know, when I take you for walks, you just act like a mop and you pick up the entirety of outside and bring it in with you on your little little dirty feet. Now you're going on camera. I really have to show you this. He's so cute right now. There he is. Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, sunshine. I'm extremely comfortable right now, and I don't know if I want to move, but she's going she's gonna to put me in the position. You know, the position. Okay, I'm here. Hello, everybody. It's sunshine, pub cup reporter. Reporting to you from the paper outpost. Things are dandy around here. I'm uh, apparently getting more swimming lessons coming at me soon. I, I don't understand why Sunshine's social calendar is so full. It was the vet yesterday. There was a walk the other day. Swimming lessons today. Whew, it's a lot for a little guy to handle. Um, but everything is dandy. Um, feeling good. Living large. 
as large as I can. I'm up to 5.3 pounds, apparently. Put on a little extra weight, I did, yes, yes. And um, I, I think it fills out my cheeks more, what do you think? Yeah, they don't look so hollow. Yeah, I agree. And, um, oh, okay, no, I, I think you're fine. And you don't need to wiggle. Well, I, I could wiggle. I know, I know you could. And, and anything else going on? No, that's pretty much it. That's, that's it in a, in a little cub pop reporter nutshell. <laughs> okay, well, that was very good. We do appreciate your efforts. Thank you. <laughs> um, we'll see you next time. Yeah, I'll see you next time, everybody. Happy crafting. Okay, thank you, Sunshine. Okay, so I came up with a good one the other day. Welcome to everybody who's new. Welcome back to everybody who's been here. I know that that took me only, what, five years to think of? Something like that. Um, what? Oh, um, I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. If you do not know about that, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month with the free monthly emailed newsletter, a different one. You can use it in your artwork. Um, let me just put those over there so you can see them. Give you something to look at. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I have, um, you also get a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, a checklist of supplies, um, page list of ideas on how to break a blank page, junk journal tips, updates from me, nude peeks at DigiKits coming out. Okay. Then I have my videos, which come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays, new audio material, and the other days of the week, you're going to get video podcasts all over the place on Spotify. And I have an Etsy shop, so when I have journals and bundles and kits and things like that that are completed, like right now I have the fabric kit, and I have fundals completed, so those are um, hard copy items for sale in my, uh, they're not copy, they're, they're authentic, um, for sale in my um Etsy shop. Um, I sell digi kits, which are printable, downloadable images. They come in five pages each. They are themed like birds or Victorian or celestial or dragons or dragonflies or you name it. There's over 200 to pick from. Um, you can use these in your junk journals any way you like. Also, um, um, if you like the idea of those, but you do not have a printer, or, or don't like to print, I will print them out for you in batches of 10 digi kits. I just need you to buy the print and mail option and then um, pick out 10 names of digi kits that you want. I only need the first two or three words to know which one you're talking about. Please send me that list to my email, pam at thepaperoutpost.com, or you can um, message me right in Etsy, the list, and that will work too. If you don't know which ones you want, Say surprise me. If you want to give me a little guidance, like birds or Victorian or, uh, you know, woodland creatures, animals, uh, things like that, um, I, can, I can curate a nice collection for you. The, you're you're going to get 50 printed pages on uh, white cardstock, which is a, a, a lightweight premium cardstock. And um, great to catch, cut out for journal cards and tags and pockets and focal points on your covers and things like that. And um, I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools or supplies. I don't know if I have tweezers on there. There might be. But I don't even know if I have beads on there. Maybe I'm just, I'm just, I have no idea. I think I do. I'm not sure. But I do try and put links to things that I use um, when I remember um, in there so that you can have an easy way to find them. Um, look in my favorite tools and supplies section. And also I have... Um, a merchandise shop, which is a t-shirt shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug, a tote, or a water bottle. Great for gift giving for yourselves, family, or friends, or other crafters. Um, okay, so uh, what else? There, uh, You can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. It's called the Paper Outpost Facebook group. And uh, we have a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges as well as seeing what you guys make from these videos. As you may know, I switched the contest on Friday in the Junk Journal Craft Chat. Um, no more scrappy papers, no more scraps of fabric, but it is going to be um, a piece of ephemera or an embellishment or something cool like that that will be um, contested away. Um, all you do is post a comment in the most recent junk journal craft chat, which occurs on Fridays. And then you, um, the winner will be drawn at the next Friday 
out of last Friday's comments. So that's how that works. You can comment as many times as you like, as well as um, if you already won something, you can comment um, on future ones. So you can have multiple chances of winning. And um, that's pretty much it. So just remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.